From the English translation perspective, some of the early translations, such as the Tyndale or other manuscript or other New Testaments, were done in a manner which was under persecution, exactly. under the threat of, of death yeah. even. And so those works went through a further refinement process. Absolutely. Do you believe that that is a similar journey for the Spanish Bible? Oh, absolutely. You see, from 1602, close to the 1800s, 1900, uh, nobody will even touch the Bible. Uh, the Inquisition will not allow it. And so that's why there's no revisions. And, and, and so finally, when the Inquisition uh, finished, uh, we were able to work in the, in the Spanish Bible. The RVG that was published in 2010, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long, what was kind of the, the starting date to the end date of your project? Well, the starting date was in 2001. And then uh, nine years later, but we've been working on it for o over 20 years. Over 20 years. I said, I want to have a Bible that I can trust. That nothing is missing or nothing is added. It cost me a lot of living. Uh, I lost a lot of friends, I lost a lot of support. But uh, to God be the glory, here we are, and, and God's been good to us. Even though I lost some friends, God sent several friends my way from every Spanish-speaking country. And, and so we began to work, and here we are. Uh, we produced the RBG Bible. When you are doing comparisons, are, are you comparing only to the King James? Or are you also comparing to the Greek and the Hebrew? What, what are your comparisons to? We compare it to the Texas uh, Receptus, uh, to the Hebrew and Greek, and with King James. But yes, absolutely. We, I find, and doing this revision, I find that the, hun, the King James Bible is 100% pure and loyal to the original text. The Hebrew and the Greek and the Aramaic. 